Yes. Yeah. So for my license, um, it is it's funeral director and embalmer. Some states have two separate licenses. Um, so, but where we work, all all the directors are they direct and embalm. Um, so for the embalming, um, how it works is um, it, generally it's arterial injection. Um, so hopefully I can explain this without uh, visuals here. But but generally how the process works. So you have the the body placed on a table. The first thing we do is uh, uh, you'll loosen up all the limbs. You know, they get rigor mortis. The hands tend to kind of crinkle up a little bit. So I like to straighten the fingers because once you embalm, they, they fixate in that position. So if, if they're in a weird position, you're not going to be able to move them and, and place them correctly after the fact. Um, so yeah, straighten out the, the, the arms and legs and the hands and uh, uh, set the features. So you close the eyes and the mouth. Um, to close the eyes, they use eye caps. Um, it sort of looks it looks like a thick contact lens with little um, ridges on it that then holds the eyelid closed. Um, and then for the to close the mouth, um, we'll either use ligature where you we use a needle in this ligature and, and thread it through the nose and around through the lip, or you can even go around the, the mandible and then you know and tie it in, in a knot or in a bow. And uh, that holds the mouth closed. They also have a thing called a needle injector, which looks like a. Some of them look like a little pistol, sort of, but it's just it's just a, a hand crank thing, and it and it shoots a, um, uh, like a metal point into the gum line above and below, top and bottom, and there's wires on each one, and then you, you twist the wires together, and that holds the mouth shut. Um, if you can visualize that one. Um, and then so when so features are set so you just kind of get the body all set up you can you'll, you'll shave the face at that point too if you shave after they're embalmed they get uh, desiccation and like like extreme razor burn um, can be an issue so um, but if you shave them before the embalming then um, then it's fine um, so then the process itself um, I don't know if you've ever seen an embalming machine but it's ours are a, it's a three gallon tank and uh, it mixes up the fluid and then there's a hose. Um, where you can adjust the pressure and the rate of flow and, uh, and to uh, inject the formaldehyde solution into the body. And so commonly what we do then, we make an incision along the collarbone. Um, usually it's, it's like a two-inch long incision. And from there, you can access the carotid artery and uh, the jugular vein in the neck. And, um, and you raise those up. You just you, We have little surgical instruments. One's called an aneurysm hook, and that's, it's good for blunt dissecting through the, the fatty tissue and, and to get around the muscles to get to these vessels. Um, and then so, and then at the end, so for the embalming machine, it has a hose and then there's a instrument at the end, it's called a cannula. And, uh, and that's what is, it, it slips down into the artery and that, and it injects the fluid into the artery. So then when you inject the fluid, uh, the pressure of the formaldehyde solution going in through the arterial system then goes through and, uh, and pushes the blood out through the vein. So you make an incision in the artery and the vein, um, formaldehyde goes in, blood comes out essentially. Um, and that, and you can get that through the whole body then too. If, if, if the person's in good shape, if their arteries in the legs aren't very sclerotic, things like that. If you get good fluid distribution, you can get what's called a one-point injection where you only have to inject from that one point in the right carotid artery. Uh, a, a lot of times people will have blood clots, things like that, or blockage in different places. And then uh, in that case, then you can uh, inject from multiple points. Um, but hold on. First, if... Uh, you're injecting through the carotid. Yeah, usually you inject down first, um, so it goes through the um, the chest and down to the legs and, and down to the arms and all that. And um, sometimes it will make it around the head too. But usually I in reverse the cannula then the other direction in the uh, artery and inject up through the head too. And you got to be careful with that because if if you have a really high pressure, um, you can distend the eyes. You know the eyes might bulge out. Um, and you don't want to distort the face at all because, you know, at the viewing, it's essentially mostly what you're looking at is hands and face. So back to the hands, that's why I always straighten the fingers out. Uh, don't leave them looking crooked or, or in a weird position and just try to get good uh, distribution uh, of fluid through the face then too.